Now, let's continue with question number three. How many moles of molecules are there in a 2.8 gram of carbon monoxide CO? B 4 gram of bromine gas. Alright, the keyword is how many moles of molecules. So they are giving us actual mass. So if you want to find number of moles, you use actual mass divided by standard mass. Alright. So as we turn on the whiteboard, then we know that 2.8 gram of carbon monoxide. 2.8 gram of carbon monoxide. So the number of mole, remember, actual mass over standard mass. Alright, so we put 2.8 divided by the standard mass standard mass of CO now this is 12 and this is 16 their RMM would be 28 but one mole of CO would have a mass of 28 gram alright so I put 28 here so what you get you get 0 0.1 Right. So how about B? B four gram of bromine gas. Four gram of bromine gas. Now I find a mole actual mass over standard mass. So four divided by I know bromine is the molar mass of bromine is eighty. Okay, so R mm is 2 times 80 160 but one mole of bromine would have 160 gram so this is called molar mass so put 160 right the units is gram and here is gram per mole So, gram cancels, and then in the end, you get 4 over 160 more. Zero point zero two five more you get. Zero point zero two five more. Right. So that is the example. So since we still have time for each video. We can actually move on to the molar volume okay but before going to molar volume uh, they still have a few calculation for you this is page 35 work this out calculation 3.2 they want you to calculate the mass in grams each of the following 0.3 moles of aluminium B 2 moles of sodium nitrate all right so let's work it up. Let's go to whiteboard. So uh, they want the mass. They want the actual mass in gram. Okay, not in kg. Alright. 0.3 mole of aluminum. Alright, let's try again. Let's try it one more time. Mass in gram so for A is 0 0.3 mole of aluminum okay aluminum is 27 remember so 27 gram per mole the molar mass so you want to get the actual mass you use this 0 0.3 mole times 27 gram per mole so you cut cut so you get mm, 8.1 gram all right you get 8.1 gram so for B two more sodium nitrate B two more sodium nitrate 
given Na23 Nitrogen 14 Oxygen 16 Alright So the molar mass of this is 23 plus 14 plus 3 times 16 So you get 47 plus 47 plus 48 95 so the RMM is 95 but of course I don't want RMM I want molar mass so the molar mass is 95 gram per mole so actual mass mole times molar mass 2 times 95 this is 2 mole times 95 gram per mole cut cut you get 190 190 gram all right let's go to number two number two how many moles of atoms or molecules are there in 5.6 gram of iron they are asking two questions don't uh, no they are not asking two questions they are just asking how many moles right so how many moles given the information 5.6 gram of iron now we know iron 56 gram per mole for molar mass so if you want to find how many moles, you got to use this actual mass over standard mass. So this one, 5.6 gram over 56 gram per mole. So you should be able to get 0 0.1 mole. Okay, not gram. 0 0.1 mole. Because grams has been cancelled, the unit. How about B? B, 3.2 gram of methane. 3.2 gram of methane. CH4. So the molar mass of CH4 is 12 plus 4 times 1. So you get 16. So it's 16 gram per mole. Now, number of mole mass over molar mass mass over molar mass you have 3.2 gram you want to buy 16 gram per mole alright so doing some calculation you get 0 0.2 mole that's for B so the last question will be number 3 number 3 what is the mass of the carbon that contains 6.02 times 10 power 21 carbon atoms this is a bit tricky because they expect us to use this formula or you can separate them and do it one by one okay I'll just do the separate style okay it's a uh, not so complicated now given 6.02 times 10 power 21 atoms carbon atoms meaning there are so many of this and this is a standard number and then you eliminate so it's 1 over 100 and this is 0 0.01 more now you bring this mole into this number of mole mass over molar mass. Therefore, zero point zero one equals to actual mass, which is something that we are looking for. And carbon atoms, the molar mass is twelve gram per mole. So it's twelve. So your actual mass is zero point one two gram okay you get 0 0.12 
program in the end.